In a country shattered by war, a New York Times reporter and his interpreter would learn the price of survival, of freedom, and friendship. This is a big story, a major story. You understand that? We have got to get down there. The killing fields. U.S. bombs, you sure? I think many, many died. I don't know. That's a rumor. Now, I'm not going to comment on a rumor. David Anson of Newsweek calls The Killing Fields an extraordinary movie, compelling and convincing, not to be missed. All right, I've arranged for the evacuation of you and your family. So now it's up to you. What do you want to do? Richard Schickel of Time Magazine says one has to admire the honesty of The Killing Fields. You know, Pran is not going to last five minutes out there. Beto, 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 Beto. Pat Collins of CBS Morning News calls The Killing Fields unforgettable. And People Magazine says, if you see no more than one film a year, make it this one. Why didn't you get him out when you had the chance? You had no right to keep him here. Stephen Schaefer of Us Magazine calls it one of the year's best movies. A stirring true story that captures human drama with true compassion. I'm very pleased to accept this on behalf of Dith Prime and myself. It bothers me that you let Pran stay in Cambodia because you wanted to win that award. Nobody gets to go in there. If I thought I could, I would. The Killing Fields. A film that will challenge you, change you, and never let you forget what you experienced.